Hi Sunday School friends! This is Miss Casey and I'm so excited that I get to be back with you this week. Um, I hope you had a wonderful Easter with your family and I hope that you got to share the good news with someone. Um, today for our lesson we're going to start it in the same way that we did last week and that is by me asking you a question. And my question for you this week is what is one way that, or I should say, what is one thing that makes you joyful? Um, and another word for joyful or joy is happy. So I want you to ask all the members in your family what one thing is that makes them joyful or happy, and then I want them to share um, the one thing that makes them joyful or happy with you. Um, and I'm going to start um, this conversation by me sharing what my thing is that makes me joyful. So um, the one thing that makes me joyful is um, I feel joyful when I know that I'm loved by my family and friends and most importantly by God. And then one other thing that makes me really joyful is hugs. And lately I have really been missing um, giving hugs and receiving hugs too. Um, I get lots of hugs from my family, but um, I really miss giving hugs to my friends and to the kids I know and to just people that are important in my life besides the people that live with me in my house. So I hope that soon I'm able to give hugs and get hugs back. So, But the exciting news today is that the story we're reading in our Bible today is a story that's filled with joy and happiness. And I'm so excited I get to share it with you today. So um, if you want to, um, you can pause this video and go grab your Jesus Storybook Bible because we're going to be using this Bible again today. And um, then I want you to open up your Bible to page 318 because we're going to read um, the story that's on 318 and it's called Going Home. Now remember, if you don't have this Bible, no worries. Um, you can follow in another Bible or you can, I will show you the pictures so you can just listen and follow along with me. Um, so this story, like I said, is called Going Home and you can find this story in Matthew 28, Mark 16, Luke 24, and John 14. And those are all the Gospels in the Bible. So here is our first picture. And it says... Jesus' friends were afraid, so they were hiding in an upstairs room with a door bolted shut. But that didn't stop Jesus. He just walked straight through the wall. It's a ghost, Thomas screamed and hid under the table. But it wasn't a ghost. I'm hungry, Jesus said. What's for lunch? Peter gave him a fish. They, they all hung back and watched him eat it. This can't be. They were telling themselves. It's impossible, it's not happening, but it was right in front of them. And there's the next picture. Delicious, Jesus wiped his mouth with the back of his hand and grinned. Can a ghost do that, he winked, and they all laughed. I, I'm really here, Jesus said, and he really was. Peter's heart leaped with joy and he fell into Jesus' arms, hugging and kissing him. The others followed. They felt their heart would burst from the happiness. The friends ate together and chatted happily. And every now and then, they just gazed at Jesus and had to touch him to be sure they weren't dreaming. Jesus had a real body, but this body was better. It had come through death and couldn't get sick or be killed again. This body would live forever. Jesus had come back with a brand new body. Not only were sad things coming untrue, the friends realized they were becoming new again. Was God going to make everything new? Jesus said, I am the savior and the rescuer of the world. And they knew because he couldn't stay dead because Jesus had come alive again, that someday, somehow everything would be all right. And there's the next picture. As the days, as a few days later, as they walked together, Jesus told his friends, it's time for me to go home to my father. They all looked worried 
And then they remembered what Jesus had told them before he died. There's a place for you. I'll get it ready, Jesus had said. You know the way. Thomas had panicked. I don't know the way to get there. Yes, you do, Jesus had said. I am the way and the truth and the life. When at last they reached the top of the highest hill near Jerusalem, Jesus turned to them and said, Go and tell everyone the happy news. Tell them I love you so much that I died for them. Let's try that again. Tell them I love them so much that I died for them. It's the truth that's overcome the terrible lie. God loves his children. Yes, he really does. Suddenly, the whole sky was filled with a dazzling light. Now everyone can come home to God, Jesus said. Death is not the end of you. You can live forever with your Father in heaven because I have rescued the whole world. And there they are. And something amazing happened. Jesus rose up into the bright air, higher and higher. They shaded their eyes and watched him go until a cloud hid Jesus so they couldn't see him anymore. They stood looking up into the sky like that, like that for a long time. Suddenly, two shining men appeared. What are you doing? they asked. Jesus has gone up to heaven, but one day he will come back in the same way you saw him leave from heaven and from the sky. Jesus' friends went back to Jerusalem with a strange gladness inside their hearts and something, Jesus, and something Jesus said that was stuck in their minds. Even though you won't be able to see me anymore, I will never leave you. No, not ever. I will be with you. Yes, always and forever. How can Jesus be with us and leave us at the same time, they wondered. They didn't understand, but no, but soon they would. So that is the end of our story. And this story, um, as you can see, has a lot to be joyful for because what Jesus has done for us. He, um, not for how much he loves us, and it's so exciting that Jesus died for us, and that means that um, we get to live with him forever and ever if we believe in him, and isn't that awesome? Um, so today, my challenge for you is to go outside this week or this weekend, and it's supposed to be really nice outside, so it'll be a perfect time to go outside, and I would like you to go outside and blow bubbles and jump for joy. And when you're jumping for joy and blowing your bubbles, I want you to think or say some of the things that God gives us every day that makes you joyful or happy. And when I think about bubbles, I think about them popping and when they do, I think about joy. For some reason, whenever I see bubbles and they make me so happy and when they pop, I just think of all the joy in my life. So um, that is your challenge for the week is to go outside and blow bubbles and have fun and think about all the awesome and joyful and wonderful things God gives us. And I, if you want, I would encourage you to share them with somebody in your family when you're doing that or blow bubbles with somebody. Um, and, and I just was wondering if you know why we, what's the greatest reason, reason we can jump for joy. And that is because Jesus is alive and he is our rescuer and our savior. And we can jump for joy because when we believe in him, we are going to get to live with him forever and ever. And he's always with us and he's never going to leave us. So that is something we can definitely jump for joy for. And I hope you have fun blowing bubbles and coming up with ways and ideas of things that Jesus gives you that brings you so much joy. And one good thing is if you don't have bubbles at your house, it's not a problem. Um, I'm going to attach a link to the Sunday School um, website, um, and that is going to give you a recipe that you can make bubbles. So even if you do have bubbles and you want to try making um, a batch of bubbles, you can do it. It's really fun. So that recipe will be on the website um, underneath this video. There'll be a link for you to find that. And then there will also be some ideas of um, ways that you can make bubble wands um, just from common things that you have at your house. So um, I hope you have fun blowing bubbles and um, 
thinking about all the things that God gives us that's so joyful. And to end our lesson today, I would like us to pray together. So if you can fold your hands and bow your heads, we will end in prayer. Dear God, thank you for Jesus. Thank you for all the joy and happiness you give us each and every day. We are so happy you sent your son Jesus to show us your love and to save us so we can live with you forever and ever. Amen. All right. Well, have a great week. I hope you have fun blowing bubbles and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.